दोस्तों नमस्कार यू आर वेलकम टू जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय फैमिली इन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन विच वी आर आस्कड इन जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय सिलेक्शन टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दीज क्वेश्चन आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जे यूनिवर्सिटी जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय सिलेक्शन टेस्ट स्कॉलरशिप एग्जामिनेशन एंड कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो so let us see first example so let us understand this question if the number b is less than another number c c is 5% more than 150 then what is b number so we'll calculate first c c c is 5% more c is 5% more than 150 so 5% of 150 is 7.5 so 10% is 15 and if we uh, divide it by 215 we will get 7.5 or we can say that 10% is 15 therefore 5% will be 7.5 now let us write what is b here so c will be 157.5 so what is b here if the number b is 10% less than another number c so this b is 10% less than this number So one fifty seven point five minus ten percent of this one fifty seven point five into ten upon hundred. This is ten percent of this number. So one fifty seven point five. So I can cancel this zero. If I cancel this zero, then this decimal decimal point will come here. So minus fifteen point. Seven. So we can do subtraction. One fifty seven point five minus fifteen point seven five. So I will take zero here. Ten minus five is five. Then it will be eight. Eight minus fifteen that is seven. Carry one. Six. Seven minus six means one. Five minus one is four. One as it is. So our answer will be one forty one point seven five. So this is our answer. So let us see second question here. The sum of SCF and LCF of forty five, sixty, and seventy five is. So we have to calculate SCF and LCF, and then we have to add. So this is forty five, sixty, and seventy five. So what we have to do? We have to factorize this. So this will be. Five nine is a forty-five. Five one is a five two is a five one is a five five is a twenty. So let us divide it by three. Three three is a nine. Three four is a twelve. Three five is a fifteen. Now there is no common factor in three four and five. Therefore, SCF will be multiplication of these two numbers. Five into three. Now we'll ca calculate LCM. Forty-five, sixty, and seventy-five. So five nine is a Five twelve is a five fifteen is a three three is a nine three four is a fifteen no, sorry three four is a twelve three five is a fifteen. Now again, there is no common factor between three four and five. Therefore, LCM will be here. LCM is equal to five into three into multiplication of these three into three into four into five. So this will be three three is a nine nine into five forty five into So this is equal to forty-five into this. This is nine hundred. So LCM is nine hundred, and SCF is fifteen. So we have to write sum of SCF and LCF. So it will be fifteen plus nine hundred. So it will be nine hundred fifteen. So nine hundred fifteen will be our answer. So the value of this particular expression that is zero point zero point nine. Divided by zero point three into zero point zero point nine divided by. So multiplication of these two will be zero point zero nine. Okay. Now this can be written as nine. See here, I am removing. I am taking here the zero. This decimal point on right hand side. So this decimal point will go here. That means nine upon zero point nine. Now I have to remove this. Decimal point. So therefore, I should take here one zero here. So nine one zero nine, nine one zero nine zero. 
so our answer will be d so let us see one more important question what will be the difference between the greatest six digit number and the greatest five digit number so greatest six digit number 9999 greatest five digit number 99999 let us subtract 0000099 So nine, one two three four five five zero nine lakh, one two three four five. So D will be our. What is the difference between the greatest seven digit number and the smallest four digit number? Greatest seven digit number nine 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 one two three four five six. Seven. Smallest four digit number zero 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 one. So nine nine. Nine, eight, nine, nine, nine. Three, nine, three, nine, eight is in the middle. Three, nine, three, nine, eight is in the middle. So D will be our answer. Amit bought a table for twelve hundred and spent two hundred on its repair. He sold it for rupees one thousand six hundred and eighty. His profit or loss percentage. So let us calculate this. We'll calculate first cost price of table. Eh? Cost price that is he bought for twelve hundred, and he spent two hundred rupees on its repair. So here two hundred. So this is equal to fourteen hundred. So cost price will be that the buying price plus repairing charges. Now he sold at this. This is selling price. Selling price is equal to one six eight zero. Selling price price is greater than cost price. Therefore, there will there will be profit. Profit is equal to six eight zero minus one four zero zero. Selling price minus cost price zero eight two. So two hundred and eighty. This is profit. Profit on fourteen hundred. So I can say that cost price is fourteen hundred. Then two hundred and eighty. That is profit. Then cost price is hundred. Then what is selling price? Profit percent. What is profit? I can say that. So x is equal to two hundred eighty into hundred upon fourteen hundred. So these two zeros will get cancelled. Fourteen ones are fourteen. Fourteen twos are twenty-eight zero. So twenty percent will be our answer. Twenty percent profit. Now let us see next question. One four zero point seven five. Into zero point zero one. So we have to multiply by one. So write this number as it is one four zero seven five. So we have to count the digits after decimal points one two three four. So one two three four. So our answer will be one point four zero seven five five. One point four zero seven five. One fourth of birds flock. Of a flock are at a river bank, and one fifth of that flock are in their nest. Remaining twenty-two birds are wandering in search of food. What is the number of birds which are in their nest? So let us consider here total birds. Yes. Now one fourth birds of a flock are at a river river bank. One fourth of total bird. One fifth of that are in their nest. Nest one fifth. And remaining twenty two are wandering. So wandering twenty two. So I can say that one fourth bird plus one fifth birds plus twenty two is equal to total birds x. So it will be five x plus four x upon Twenty is equal to minus. I I will write. I will take this x on left hand side. Minus x is equal to minus twenty two. So this is nine x minus twenty x upon twenty is equal to minus twenty two. This twenty x. Huh? This twenty x. I have taken here. So minus eleven x upon 20 is equal to minus 22. 
So minus sign is on the both sides. It can we can write it plus twenty two into twenty upon eleven. So eleven one is eleven. Eleven two is twenty two. Twenty into two it is forty. So A will be our answer. Let us see one more important example here. In how many years does the sum twelve hundred become eighteen hundred at the rate of simple rest? Simple interest of five percent per annum. So, what is your principal amount? Is here P. P is equal to one two zero zero. Then it is becoming eighteen hundred. That means that is amount. Amount is equal to eighteen hundred. Our rate rate is given. That is five percent. And we have to calculate number of years. That means year. Year is equal to question mark. So amount is equal to P plus P N R upon hundred. So A means eighteen hundred is equal to twelve hundred plus twelve hundred into N. N is to be calculated. R means five upon hundred. So we'll take this twelve hundred on the left hand side. So eighteen hundred minus twelve hundred. Is equal to these two zeros can be cancelled. So twelve into five sixty year. So here I can say that four hundred eighteen hundred minus twelve hundred that is six hundred upon sixty is equal to year. So six ones are this zero will get cancelled. So this is ten. So ten will be our answer. How many bricks will be required for a Wall of eight meter long, six meter high, and twenty two point five centimeter thick. If each brick measures twenty five centimeter by eleven point two five centimeter by six centimeter, so what is here? Volume of wall. Volume of wall means wall upon means volume of brick. So here, length into breadth into height, eh? length into breadth into height here. So what is length here? Six meter, uh, eight meter uh, length, six meter height, and this is thickness here. So eight meter we will convert it into centimeters because the dimensions of this particular brick are given in centimeters. Okay, so. Six, uh, sorry, eight meter long means eight hundred into six meter means six hundred into thickness means height twenty two point five. Now length of brick twenty five centimeter into eleven point two five centimeter into six. So if we observe here. Twenty-two point five can be written as twenty-two point five zero. So this is this is double of this number. So one is here. I will write two is. So twenty-five one is. Twenty-five three is seventy-five. Twenty-five two is. Then six one is. So thirty-two hundred. Thirty-two into hundred. Thirty-two hundred. Into two, that means sixty-four hundred. So sixty-four hundred will be our answer. So, dear student, this is one of the important videos. Please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video to the students which are doing, which are which are doing preparations for both the Vidyalaya selection test, scholarship examinations, and competitive examinations. Thank you very much